Hi, this is John Schwabish from policybiz.com, and today I'm going to show you how to add labels to a bar chart when your bar chart has both positive and negative values. Okay, what do I mean by adding labels to a bar chart when you have positive and negative values? So let's take a look over here at my first tab. So I've got uh, data values here that span from negative 450 for group eight all the way up to 400 for group seven. So I've got some negative and some positive values. And so if I just create a bar chart, like the one you see on the left, you can see that my axis labels all sit to the left of that vertical axis, and some of them are obscured by those bars that are negative. And what I want to do is try to create a chart like the one you see on the right, where the labels are not obscured by any of the bars. So let's walk through how to create this particular chart type. So I have my data values copied over here in column B, and I've created a new series called a filler series. And the filler series here is going to consist of an if statement. But basically, the point of what I'm going to do here is for each of my positive data values, I'm going to generate a negative filler series. And similarly, for the negative data values, I'm going to generate a positive filler series. So all I've done here is to say, if the data value is negative, give me the maximum of this series. And if it is greater than or equal to zero, give me the minimum of this series. So you can see for all of my positive data values, I get a filler value of negative 450. And for all of my negative data values, I get a value in the filler series of 400. We could really use any values that we want here, but you know, being able to just drop and drag with this little formulas is, is an easy way to create this little chart. So I'm gonna take this formula out of this particular cell and I will drop it down here so that you can copy it and use it. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the chart. So I'm gonna select my data, I go to the insert menu and I'm just going to create a regular paired 2D bar chart. So I select that and I'm going to move this chart up here and I'm going to make it bigger so that you can see it. And so you can see here, our vertical axis labels are still partly being obscured by our bars. And so the blue bars represent the actual data values and the orange bars represent our filler series. So first thing we need to do is we need to align these bars. We want them uh, essentially to be a straight bar all the way the, across. So I'm gonna select either series, doesn't matter which one. I'm gonna go over to my format data series option. I'm gonna change the series overlap to 100%. And you can see that these are now going to line up. You can also see that the labels now, easier to see here, that the labels start at group one at the bottom and go to group eight at the very top, whereas my data series, I have group one at the top and eight at the bottom. Well, I want these two to match. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. It's not that big of a deal, but, but I do want them to match. So I'm going to select my vertical axis. I'll format the axis. And over here, I have to make two changes. I'm gonna select this checkbox to put the categories in the reverse order. So now you can see group one is at the top and group eight is at the bottom. And I also want that horizontal axis to be back at the bottom of the chart. So I'll put the horizontal axis to cross at the maximum category. So you can see here, I had to make two changes over in the format axis menu so that the order in my bar chart matches the order in the spreadsheet. All right, now what we need to do is add data labels to the filler series. So I'm going to right click on the filler series. I'm gonna say add data labels. I'm going to select those labels and I'm going to format those labels. And here I'm going to add the category name. So you can see that each label now has the group number, the group name, the group number and the value. I don't need the value. So I'm going to turn that off. And I'm also going to put the label inside the base. So that's going to bring the label to the base of the orange series, the filler series. So you can see here from group four, six and eight, when it was, Outside the end, it's sitting outside on the right side of this graph. When I bring it inside the base, it's right along that Y axis. I'll select my existing Y axis labels and I'm simply gonna hit delete. And now I select my filler series and I'll change the fill to no fill. And you can see that I now have the labels exactly where I want them. Obviously I can go in and I can change the thickness of these bars if I want by playing with the gap width. And I can also format them as well if I want a different color rather than the standard Excel blue. So that's how you create a bar chart where you have positive and negative values 
where you have the labels not obscured by the bars themselves. If you have more questions about Excel, please reach out and visit policyviz.com and subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can learn more.